YouTube, welcome to my channel. Well, I'm kind of indoors at the moment because it's a little bit chilly here in Canada today. I don't know, we got some cold front, but I have a budget drone that is probably going to be the most coolest budget drone if you're thinking of buying a budget drone. So uh, let's hop out and uh, go check out this budget drone. Now, it is the budget drone by Bugs MJXRC and it is called the b20 eis eis stands for electronic image stabilization and it's right over here look at this baby look at that thing so on the front that is not a camera gimbal but it's electronic image stabilization and it does have a smooth gimbal to move up and down it's a one axis gimbal that is not obstacle avoidance i have no idea what that is but they put it on but it does have brushless motors not foldable but, uh, well, what's so cool about this, then you ask? Well, it's because this camera, they put a really good camera on it. This camera records at 4K, and it can actually do 60 frames per second. So I'm going to show you all the settings. So let's go check this out now. All right, so you're going to see much more about this drone in the unboxing. At the end of this video, there's an unboxing. I'll show you everything that comes in the box, the accessories, the charging system, and everything, how it works. But for now, we're just going to take this out for a flight. So I'm going to get it all set up to go for a flight and, uh, yeah, just go through the basic steps, just in case you don't know how to set up a drone for a flight. So here we go. First thing we do is power it on. Should see some green lights in the back. There we go. There's that beautiful sound. Put the drone down. The drone is going to set itself up and get itself all orientated and ready to go. I will say this is an MJXRC drone, which means that uh, it's pretty reliable. They're probably the best budget drones on the market. So power this on. Make sure you bind your controller to your drone. You do that with the little red button. You'll see that in instructions. Do that the very first time you fly it. Now we're all set to go because you know you're ready to fly. When you see on your little controller here, the power for the drone and the power for the actual controller. So if you see both of them battery levels, then you're ready to fly. Now, the great thing about MJXRC drones is as soon as you power them on and you power on the controller and have them sitting there, they're all set for a compass calibration and they all have the same type of compass calibration. It is spin it three times horizontally and then spin it three times vertically. So like this, watch. Once, twice, three times. I'm doing it so fast. And then just spin it uh, vertically. Put the camera up or the camera down, doesn't matter. They don't really matter. Spin it three times, once, twice, three times. And look at the bottom and make sure the lights are solid. So there's my camera, solid green there and a solid red there. That means we're all set to go. GPS is done. Next thing you do is the gyro. You just pull these two joysticks here, pull them down and to the left like that and uh, you have completed everything and you're ready to fly and now on your display you should start to get satellites and i see i have 12 satellites already it's very fast very important on your display right here it says gps and it says on or off you have to make sure it says on right now mine is defaulted to off it thinks i want to fly indoors or something and your gps button is right on the side so flick it to on and now it will fly with GPS. Now, before I get into setting up the phone and connecting the Wi-Fi together, let me show you some of the features on the bottom that I haven't shown you. So I'm gonna grab my GoPro here and I'll just flick this upwards. And there on the bottom, you can see I have LED landing lights and I also have an optical flow system right here. The small one is the optical flow system. So that's pretty good. So you have sensors to fly indoors and you have LED lights for flying at night. You can spot your drone far away. Next, with your phone, you want to set the Wi-Fi connected to the drone. So mine's already connected. You can see on my phone, it says Drone 4E. That's the Wi-Fi of the drone I've connected. After you connect it, then you can open the app. So what's the app you're asking? The app you're going to use for this is the MRC Pro. So tap on that. And there we go. We see the start button. I'm just going to flip my phone sideways, click on the start button, click next click next and I should see what the camera sees and we're all set to go and now we're all set to start the motors of the drone so I'm just gonna hold this close there's a little red button here on your controller just press this should start there we go use your left joystick and take it on up so I'll just do this really nice and slow Whoa! <laughs> it's kind of powerful let's bring that down I'm doing this with one hand here Okay, now that I'm looking at the drone that way, I'll put on the landing lights so you can see what they look like. There we go. 
All right, so I have the drone right here and you all want to see what the camera image looks like, as do I, because I haven't seen what it looks like. So let me show you on my phone display here. And there we go, it says EIS on by default, Smooth Max electronic image stabilization. It shows I can record at 1080p, 60 frames per second, or 4K, 30 frames per second, which is quite decent. Let me try the 1080p 60, put it on that. All right, here I am, 1080p, 60 frames per second. The problem is this video that you're watching now has been recorded in 4K. So that means the 1080p video right now is upscaled to 4K. So you're seeing 4K even though it's 1080p. And the second thing is, 60 frames per second is really darn cool, except this video you're watching right now has been edited in 4K, 30 frames per second. So that means I've already converted the 60 frames to 30, so you're not gonna see much. So yeah, so it is recording right now at 1080p 60, but what you're probably seeing is 4K 30, a lower resolution 4K 30 until I bump it up to the real 4K. So let me stop this and go into the real 4K. Okay, so look at my phone screen again. I'm gonna go over to 4K 30, and that's what I'm gonna record this entire video in 4K 30. All right, this is 4K 30 frames per second. So it should look pretty awesome. And how does that look for stability? Because it's got electronic image stabilization. Well, you know what? We're really gonna find out how good it is when I put it in the follow me mode. So let's do that now. So I'm gonna click on this button over on the left and I'm gonna select follow me because this drone is gonna bounce all over following me. So I'm gonna hit follow me and it's either, either gonna work or not. So slide this, there we go. It's getting ready for the follow me. Doesn't know where my phone is. My iPhone and drones, they hate each other because my iPhone always makes a drone think it's someplace else. All right, I'm gonna turn around. I'm gonna trust it and I'm just gonna walk. Tell me guys, how smooth is that? So this is electronic image stabilization in the follow me mode. I can adjust the camera. Here we go, I can go up, there we go. It's a very smooth adjustment on the camera, moving it up and down. There we go, I brought the gimbal up so you get more of the rise. Here we go, trying a different angle. I'm shooting into the sun. How does that look shooting into the sun? I'm gonna bring the camera down a little bit. Let's go, how about like that? Oh, maybe too much. Uh, oh, you can still see me. There we are. So. That's the follow me. I'm going all the way back to where I started pretty much. So the follow me seems to work on here. Here, I'll turn around and face the drone. Follow me seems to work. No complaints with it. Seems to be quite good actually. Next one to try on here is orbit flight. So now your orbit flight, you have to set up your radius in advance and I already have. So I'm gonna slide this and it should just start to orbit whatever point was over there. So if I stand right where the center was, then uh, it will just orbit around me. I think I set the radius to 10 meters on mine. Let's see, oh, there's a tree. I might have to go up. Is it gonna hit it? Is it gonna hit it? Ho ho, just missed the tree. Just missed that tree. Ho ho, that was close. Now this drone is supposed to fly for 22 minutes. So you get 22 minutes of flight time with this drone and the range, the range is about on a really good day because it's going from your phone to the drone on a good day, it'd be about a thousand meters. On a bad day, you might get like 500 meters. Now you can see on my display, it does have headless mode and headless mode is for beginners. Very bad habits are developed from headless mode. It's for people with no sense of direction. So there's my drone. Headless mode would be that if I move this joystick forward, backwards, left, right, the drone goes forward, backwards, left, right, no matter which way it's facing. Like right now the drone's facing me and if I say go left, it's gonna go right because it's facing the wrong way but if I have it in headless mode and say go left, it will go left. Also, like all Bugs drones, you have a waypoint mode, so I'll go into maps. You can see me, you can see the drone if I go out. There's the park I'm at, so I'm gonna zoom back in. So I know that's the highway to my left, that big yellowish line, so I don't wanna put any waypoints over there. So what I'm gonna do is make some waypoints uh, on the opposite side. So I tick the little waypoint thing, which is the hand at the bottom, and pick the first one, and I'll just put waypoints here. There's a few. There we go. And then I'll hit the bottom thing that says submit. And then you get a little swipey thing. And when you do the swipey thing, it will do the waypoints. I'll do it really quick because I don't really like waypoints. There we go. And then what happens, the drone goes up. It goes to your parameters you set and it will go to your waypoints. There it goes, waypoint one. And I guess it's going to two. So let me, let me exit that because I don't want it to go on waypoints. Okay, now, just as I was saying earlier, I've left the landing lights on. You can see them on the bottom. So I'm doing this whole review with the landing lights on. So that's sucking some power. 
and it should take away from my little 22 minutes of power but we'll see so here we go i'm going to show you the speeds now because it does have a speed controller on it right over here the speed i'm going to show you now i'm going to stand behind it the speed i'm going to show you now this is your slow speed or normal speed here we go full blast forward well that's not too fast is it i guess you could get some good good filming with that and bring it back coming back coming back coming back that's not that fast you know what i probably had it in the fast speed because look at how slow that is you could really get some nice cinematic shots with that. I'm gonna have to try that. Okay, so let me show you. I'll press this, I'll get two beeps, and we'll go in the fast speed. Okay, I heard two beeps. And this should be the fast speed. Here we go, one, two, three. There we go, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I was flying in, a lot faster. Bring it back, I'll try to get out of the way so it doesn't hit me. There we go. Okay, now that I've discovered it can fly slow, I'm gonna hit the record, so the record's on, and I'm gonna take it forward and just get some video. Here we go. Watch this, full blast forward. Look at that, look at that. It's like, it's like a tripod mode in this thing. I'm turning, there we go, see if it's nice and smooth. We'll head out into the parking area. So far so good. Take it up a bit, go. So how's that video? That's it, you know, there's not much to film. I got some cars moving by on the right. Uh, I don't wanna to go too far left because what you get there, I'll show you, is the sun. The sun is low in the horizon. You see, I'm gonna point right into the sun. Yeah, so here, I'll come back to my truck and me, and then it's a little bit better, there we go. I'm gonna fly over my truck. So there I am over there. So pretty impressive, here it is coming. Look at that thing. I've got it full blast, it's pegged. And this is the mode, it's tripod mode. So smooth, wow. You know what, that would look cool in, that would look cool flying low to the ground. Let me try it, there we go. Look at that, how is that for video? That's low to the ground, look at that thing. Look at that. <laughs> this is a budget drone and it can do all this. That is pretty amazing. If that video looks good, this is 4K30. If the video actually looks good to you, well then this is definitely a drone to consider. It means that MJXRC has, you know, they've hit a home run with this one. Doesn't have a three axis gimbal, but it's got electronic image stabilization and it flies really well. All right, how about I take it up at a faster speed so you can see how it looks way up in the air. All right, so I've sent the drone far, far, far out there, taking some video, and now I've hit the return to home. So it's coming on back. It's up there, there it is. You can see the landing lights, and it's coming down, and we'll see where it lands. So awesome with those landing lights. You can spot it from very, very far away. And if it was nighttime, you'd see the green and red arm lights as well, the LED lights on the arms. Coming down, coming down. So let me walk over and see where it's landing. Is it near the landing pad? I'm not doing anything. It stops again. It's almost like it's checking for something. I'm not stopping it. Let's look down. Well, there's the landing pad. Maybe my shadow messed it up. Well, there's the landing pad and that's where it landed. That's not too bad. You know, like it's not too far off. That's pretty darn good. All right, I'll take it up one more time and take some photos. Here we go. All right, so what did you think of this new Bugs? I thought it was pretty cool. If the video quality looked really good to you at 4K 30 or even 1080p 60, if you have uses for that and it didn't look like jello or bouncing all over the place, it looked pretty smooth, 
then this may be a drone for you to consider. Obviously, there's a few things about it that you may not like, and that is the props are not foldable, the arms are not foldable, and the legs are, well, they're kind of stuck like that. I don't even think they're removable. Oh, I guess you could take the screws out. Yeah, the legs are removable. But it does have optical flow, landing lights, and that camera should be pretty good. Now, I haven't seen the video, so hopefully it looked really good. And the sun's going out again. Every time I talk at the end of a video, the sun goes out. Oh, well. So other than that, it's, uh, it should be a pretty good drone. 22 minutes of flight time probably tells you that you're going to need at least two batteries if you're going to do a lot of filming. The range, I could get it eh, maybe about 500, 600 meters. And then with the buildings in the way and the trees, I started to lose connection. So. Your range is gonna vary, it all depends on your phone and where you fly. So if you fly someplace that's open, a nice park, and you fly high, so you have a nice connection between your phone and the drone and nothing in between, you should be okay. But if you start putting trees in between you and the drone and buildings, uh, you're not gonna get a very far distance of range with this thing. So mine was about 500. They say you should get maybe at a max of a thousand probably more average like 600 so look at that for your range and if i haven't mentioned it already your video does record onto a micro sd card in the front and it actually takes a good quality micro sd card not like some of the other budget drones they just take your simple little basic micro sd card but this one could actually take a good one since it records at 50 megabits per second so you know you put a good quality micro sd card in there and you'll get some good quality video happening. I wish I knew the price of this drone, but I don't know the price because there might be discounts. Now, this drone was sent to me by MJXRC themselves, not a distributor. So in other words, they're not going to give me a coupon to give you discounts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a bunch of sites below of where I see this drone available check the prices on all of them and see if you can find the best price out of those links I provide below. And then if, if you like it, pick it up. It seems like it might be a good drone. All right, hope you enjoyed this video. If you have questions on this drone, post them below and I'll get back to you. If you would like to buy this drone, once again, just check all the links I've placed below this video. They're all below the video in the description box. And if you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate if you give it a thumbs up because that helps me out and lets me know, hey, you liked the, all this hard work I did. All right, guys, take care and I'll catch you in the next drone video. Bye. And now a super quick unboxing of the Bugs 20 with electronic image stabilization. First item in the box would be the instructions plus some bug stickers. Next we have the drone, the controller, accessories, and mine came with two batteries. I believe these only come with one battery. You have to specifically order two batteries. Here we have the drone out of the box and you will notice that it does have brushless motors, but the props are not installed. You have to install the props. You can see venting on the arms right here. As well on the top, you have a label just for protection. Legs come pre-installed. Battery bay is back here. LED lights are are visible on each of the four arms. Speaking of LED lights, you have LED landing lights and an optical flow sensor there for indoor flight and outdoor stability. And you will notice in the front that a piece of plastic is over this unit, but uh, it almost looks like it's an optical sensor, but I'm not sure what it is. Looking at the camera unit, you can see it has a vibration dampener. It does not have a gimbal, but there is electronic image stabilization. You can see a micro SD card goes right in that slot. And there's your camera and lens. It can point 90 degrees down and of course, fully forward. The battery is a 7.6 volt, 3400 milliamp hour battery. Battery fits in the back. Power button is here. Here you can see the LED lights in operation flashing. That's their brightness. Probably pretty good at night. And here you can see the camera gimbal. If I operate the remote, I can bring the camera looking forward nice and smooth and all the way back down 90 degrees. So here we have the front of the drone and this is prop A and prop A goes on this here motor. You can see here, here's the props and the assembly. You'll need two of these screws and one of these little top portions. And you just put this prop in the motor and screw everything down. Just put two screws in each prop, screw them down tight, and then put the plastic cap on. And it looks like this when done. There you go. And when you have the four props on, it looks something like this. Batteries in the drone, props are on. Let's see how much this baby weighs. We are at 555 grams of weight. Next, we have the remote control that looks like a DJI remote control with a very nice display. The arms come out so it fits nicely in your hands. The antennas go up. You have the very important GPS button on the side. A lot of brand new users always have this on off and they can't figure out why their drone is floating around the sky. You have to make sure the GPS is on. On the front, the very important lock on lock the motors and also the bind button here. Very 
first time use it, read the instructions, you have to use this button to bind this controller to the drone. And you will require two AA batteries to have this powered. For accessories, you get a micro Phillips screwdriver. You'll need this to put the props on. And you also get your USB cable, which you're going to use to charge up the battery. Plug it in here to charge up the battery. Finally, you get a spare set of props and it is a complete set of props plus all the screws and hardware to mount it just in case you destroy every single prop you own. And that, ladies and gentlemen, concludes my review of this beautiful Bugs drone. If you have questions on this drone, just post them below and I'll get back to you. If you would like to buy this drone, the links to where you can find this drone on the internet is below check it out get one for yourself lovely christmas gift and if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up i would appreciate that very much and uh, stay tuned for many more reviews on drones coming up in the future but for now i say thanks for watching and take care bye